Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got an unboxing for you. Now hear me out before you all jump in the comment section and say, I thought you wasn't buying anything else, I thought you was having a whole year of no spending and all the rest of it. Please do hear me out because there's a very good reason behind me picking up these particular pieces. But before we get into the unboxing, I want to say thank you very, very much for all the support that everyone showed for my channel when I released the 365 poker chips. Now I actually had a hundred of them produced and I'm still not quite sure if the company sent me more than a hundred or whether the other company didn't send me enough bags to to fill a hundred. So I'm not quite sure yet and I will be able to work it out once I go through all of the postage because all of those poker chips have now been sent off. This video won't be live for a couple of weeks but I have actually shipped them all off way before this video goes live on the channel i've got a few videos scheduled and edited already to go up so like i said today's date is the alexa what's today's date tuesday the 28th of november is the current day that i'm filming this video and yesterday all of the poker chips were sent out so they're all on the way the ones in the UK will arrive obviously a lot quicker than the ones in the US. But I'm hoping that they arrive before Christmas because the whole point of it was to give back to everyone that supported this channel and a way of saying Merry Christmas. And like I said, thanks very much for all the support. So, yeah, really, really overwhelming. The fact that I got 100 poker chips and I would never in a million years thought that they would go as quick as they did. It only took two or three days i think it might have been two days so we're talking 48 hours for all 100 poker chips to be claimed so yeah like i said really really overwhelming really really cool that there was that many people that actually wanted to have a piece of 365 history if you like so i really really do appreciate it and i want to say a massive thank you for everyone that took the time to drop me an email with their address so yeah really really appreciate that so like I said, I hope they get to you before Christmas and again, a massive, massive thank you. Now, today's video is going to be a new pickup. It is a piece of silver that I have recently brought. Well, it's actually two pieces of silver that I've brought. It should be two pieces that I've brought, it should be in here. And I want you to hear me out. The reason I've actually picked these up and broken my rules, if you like, of buying those silver for 365 days is because this was an opportunity that presented itself and it was an opportunity that I could not not take advantage of. And the reason I wanted to give you an explanation before I just jump straight into this unboxing is because there's so many of you that have shown me support with, with what I'm trying to achieve, with me trying to build up an emergency fund and pay off some debts. And I really, really do appreciate it. There's been so many people that have actually messaged me words of support and said that it's a great thing that I'm doing and they really really are behind it and there's also some people that have messaged me saying that they're doing the same thing they're going to have a whole year of no spending there's someone that messaged me saying they're going to have six months of no spending I think I had a couple of people message me saying they're going to have one or two months of no spending so it's nice to see that I've actually inspired a few people to do similar and actually rein it back a little bit and build up a little bit of an emergency fund and potentially pay down some some debts and spend money in other places so let's get straight into the video and i'll show you what i've picked up and you'll understand the reasons why i had to make this purchase and it couldn't it couldn't wait i will take out the part of this that shows my address let me just take this out of the way because there's a bit on there that shows my address really nicely packaged actually and this is the first time <laughs> and it'll be the last time I've actually ordered from this mint now for those of you that got a quick view of that before I had to blur it because of my address being on there you'll see it's from the Pob Joy Mint now as you can see it's based in the UK and the address is in Surrey in England now, Pop Joy Mint has been around for many, many years. They make many different coins, not just bullion and investment coins, but they also make circulated coins for many, many different countries. 
So it's a really, really well-known mint. And I think it was Senator Georgie that actually commented on one of my posts when I put up a post saying that they're going to be closing, that he was actually really gutted and he hadn't heard that they were going to be closing. And I think he actually owns quite a few bits and pieces from Popjoy Mint. So there's a lot of people that don't even know that this mint is going to be closing. And I can't remember who shared it with me originally. I think it might have been someone on Stack of Social. And I'm really sorry for forgetting who originally brought this to my attention. So please do let me know in the comment section if it was you. But I'm pretty sure it was someone in Stack of Social that said to me that the Popjoy Mint was going to be closing. And that encouraged me to do a little bit more research into it. And what I found out is that they were planning to release two more final coins before they officially close now they're going to release one piece in silver and they're going to release the same piece in gold now the gold piece there was actually only one piece minted and i think it was four thousand pounds now if i've took a screenshot of it i will try and post it on the video so i can show you but it was four thousand pounds for one ounce of gold and that was because it was a limited one one of one mintage from pop joy mint now don't get me wrong even if i wasn't doing my 365 days of no spending i still wouldn't have paid four thousand pounds for a one ounce gold piece i do think that that is extortionate i do think that it's way over spot and you're never actually going to recoup that cash now i might be wrong but it did sit on their website for a very long time and it might even still be for sale now i'm not too sure but i checked I think it was four or five days later after it was released and it was still available. So it just goes to show that it's not just me that thinks that is extortionate and it's a, a very, very overpriced for a one ounce piece, even though it is going to be the last piece that this particular mint produces before they close. Now, I actually settled for the, the one ounce coins and I picked up two of them. And the reason I picked up two of them was because if they do shoot up in value in the next sort of few months or years, then I got one that I can sell. And then I've also got one that I can hold on to for more long term. I brought two pieces. You can see it's called the Pegasus 2023 Proof Fine One Ounce. And it was £54, including VAT, 20 one pounds took it up to 108 pounds for both pieces so you can see excluding vat it was 108 pounds plus vat 21 pounds and the total including postage and all the rest of it or well, i think it was free postage yeah free postage so 130 pounds so we're talking 65 pounds a piece for a one ounce coin so way way over spot way way over what you would pay for obviously a, a standard bullion piece but like i said these are purely to go into my deep stack as an investment now i hope you can fully understand the reasons why i had to pull the trigger on these and the reasons why i couldn't wait until my whole year of saving money was up it's one of those things that i had to kind of bite the bullet and and just get so do let me know in the comment section your thoughts on that but i'm going to be showcasing these pieces today and already they look really really cool they're really nicely presented i've never actually brought something directly from the the pop joy mint before now let's get into today's video and have a look at these pieces right how's this open well okay right so really really nicely presented a nice kind of thin box which i like a bit different not too chunky now let's have a look considering this is their final piece that they're going to be releasing they've they've still put a lot of effort into it they haven't just rushed it out it's not just a cash grab they have actually done a nice coa feel free to pause that and have a little read that will tell you the kind of thought process behind it and why they've chosen this particular design for their last piece but over here the important part the stats we hereby confirm that this one ounce proof silver coin has been struck to prove quality and is strictly limited to 1,450 worldwide. Now you can see at the top there, this is number 1438 to 1450. And these sold out very, very quickly. I don't think there's any of these left for sale. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure these are all gone now. So they didn't hang around. You can see it's got the size, the weight and the issue again down there. 
Really, really cool. Really, really cool to think this is the last piece. And it says it on the front to commemorate the final coin from Pop Joy Mint. So, yeah, let's have a look at the start of the show. There we go. Look at that. Really nice proof finish. It's got a face value on there, so it's not around. It's an actual coin. Really, really reflective. And if we have a look on the other side, actually quite a nice portrait of King Charles, to be honest. A lot better than some of the other portraits that are knocking around. British Virgin Islands, King Charles III. 2023 so yeah really really cool piece and we are going to open this one and do not do this with proof coins in fact i'm not even going to do it i'm not going to say don't do something and then do it but normally i pop the lid on the proof coins to showcase them better on the channel but i think as this has been brought strictly for an investment it's not been brought just to showcase it's not been brought just because i like the look of it it's simply been brought for an investment because i do think these have potential to perform very very well over time i'm not gonna risk getting any dust or any damage in there so that's the first one let's have a look at the mintage on this one exactly the same coin but it'll be interesting to see if the mintage figure is similar and you can see at the top there we have one four three nine does that carry on on what the other one was now one four three eight yeah so that's pretty cool it carries on so it does go to show that they were shipped out in order that they were produced which is quite nice to see sometimes when you order two pieces that are limited mintages at the same time you get completely different mintage figures but it's quite nice to have two that line up so yeah, really, really cool. Let's just have a quick look at the coin. Make sure there's no blemishes. I will check this off camera. But there are a few little marks there, but they're just on the capsule. But yeah, really, really cool piece. Now, I'm not a massive fan of the actual design of the coin. If it wasn't for this being the last coin produced from this particular mint... I definitely wouldn't have rushed out and brought this piece, especially for £65 for a one ounce piece. But like I said, this is purely for investment purposes. And I am very, very interested to see how it performs over time. So do let me know in the comment section. I did put the link to this coin on Stacker Social as soon as it was released. I was literally, when I first heard about them being a last coin coming from this particular mint i was emailing pop joy mint customer services near enough every single day chasing it because i didn't want to miss it i really wanted to see what it was all about see how much it was see how low the mintage was and see if i thought it was going to be a good investment and i was literally emailing them every day saying any talks on the final release and to be fair they were keeping very very quiet about it they were saying we haven't got any update for you yet You'll, as soon as it's released, we'll let you know. And they actually let me know via the mailing list, which I'm guessing a lot of people were subscribed to if they'd previously bought things from this mint. So as soon as I got the email, I jumped on. And like I said, I picked up two pieces. So forgive me for breaking the 365 days of no buying silver. I hope you understand the reasons why. I couldn't have waited for a whole year before trying to get these pieces because in my opinion, I think they are going to perform very, very well. And potentially these could be, I don't know, £100 a coin within four or five months. Let's put it out there. Let's say my my prediction Let's say these could potentially be on the second hand market a hundred pounds a piece in four or five months. So that's roughly how I think they're going to perform in the short term. And in the long term, I do think they are going to continue to rise because the Pop Joy Mint was a very, very popular mint. There's lots of people, like I said, Senator Georgie was pretty gutted when he heard that they were, were closing. He hadn't heard it until I announced it on my community post the other day. So yeah, they are a very, very popular mint and there's lots of coins out there that have been produced by this mint. 
So like I said, I do think long term, these could perform very, very well. Do let me know your thoughts on that. Do let me know your thoughts on me buying silver when I'm not meant to. As always, thanks very much for all the support. Again, I really, really hope these poker chips get to you before Christmas. A massive thank you again to every single person that took the time to drop me an email with their address. And I hope you like them. They look even better in person than they do on video. They really, really pop. And I'm actually pretty gutted because I kept one back for myself. But when I was packing up the Gold 2 Stackers poker chip, I remembered that he said in a few of his videos that his son and him like to collect poker chips. So I actually put my one that I'd held back for myself in with his package for him to give to his son. So he's actually got two, one to pass on to his son. So that means that I was left with zero poker chips. I haven't even got my own poker chip to put in my backdrop or anything like that. So maybe in the future, when I can start spending money again, I might have to get myself one made up because it would be quite nice to actually have one of my own poker chips in the backdrop of my videos. So as always, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a very nice day.